Sledy. What's going? I, 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 you got the boy, Rowdy Rebel. This is 6 9 after release. Okay. Because I don't be on the social. I don't really be paying attention to what the hell be going on. I just be grinding, getting it. I just be, you know, like, you know, I do what you that's a little freestyle for y'all stupid out of the butt. Anyway, AJ gets to it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Rowdy Rebel was just released from serving a six year prison sentence and was thrown in there oh, yeah. alongside Bobby Schmurda and the rest of GS9 back in 2014. While other members of GS9 are doing 40, 50, 60, 75 year sentences. Hey, I'm ready for the third day out, motherfucker. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on that third day out. I need. Where the hell are they gonna put the motherfucker? They gonna put that motherfucker on World Star Rowdy Rebel page. I don't know, but y'all better let me know when the motherfucker drop. Rowdy was fortunate to have his 10 to 12 cut down to 7 because Bobby Schmurda decided to meet him at the. That's real. That's 100. You know what I'm saying? That's what real niggas do, though. I forward that. I, I forward that. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. Shut up. Bobby Free Route. Oh, my stupid Free Route. Free, free Bobby. And hey, shout out that boy Rowdy Rebel. You know what I'm saying? Middle. From the three to four years he could have gotten with his guilty plea. Rowdy must drive a hard bargain when hell of a negotiator. But unfortunately for Bobby, who was supposed to get released on parole around the same time as Rowdy, he got into some trouble in prison, or trouble found him, and he has to serve as. This nigga hell player as hell. This shit hard as hell. Nigga got a prime motherfucker. Nigga look like a pimp man slip, but you know what I'm saying. Nigga look like pimp man, a fat pimp man slip, but you know what I'm saying. Full sentence and won't be home until next year. This was the video of. Ra man, fuck that. He on the way, man. He not coming next year. He coming. Hopefully by the by the end of the year. Y'all think y'all think Bobby can come home by the end of the year. I think he can, you know what I'm saying? Why not? Why fucking not? You know what I'm saying? Nigga better just start better start coughing that motherfucker like, but I gotta go home, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. I don't know. Do something, my nigga. Rowdy's released from the front doors of the facility. Boys. That nigga look like pop smoke. That nigga look like pop vapor looking at his boy. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I know my um our last reaction on um, Roddy Rebel when he was getting out, my shit was laggy as fuck. I was watching that motherfucker I'm like, damn, that motherfucker laggy as hell. But I'm like, bro, I hope niggas gonna watch this shit. Niggas gonna be like, damn, your shit laggy as hell, but your shit look like but somebody has said my shit look like a potato, my nigga. It was like, bro, this nigga recorded off of a surveillance camera. I'm like, God damn, y'all hurt my heart. Y'all hurt my, man. Y'all ain't hurt my book for it, bro. Yo, your mom's on, your mom probably somewhere around here choking on my dick, man. I ain't even gonna keep you there. Man. I ain't even gonna keep you there, man. <laughs> 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 Play with that boy, he is not one of them. Fuck all the time I ain't gonna count. I still fuck with 69 though. I like him old music. Like that his whole first tape, that shit still hard. Don't 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 get it misconstrued. That shit still hard. But you know what I'm saying? The nigga rat. Right. What's up, gang? I ain't gonna lie, what we doing? I decided to voice the first thought that came to my mind seeing this video on Twitter, which you should definitely follow me at the mind of HY. How did Rowdy Rebel walk out of six years in prison with off white ones? What you say? Some people decided to inform me that you can request outfits for your release, but still, how you even get his hands on that attire? For Rowdy decided to also throw a slight diss towards 6ix9ine in this video clip where he hops on top of a car 
and announces he's the king of New York. Yeah, I ain't gonna cap. Bobby and Riley, they deserve king of New York. Like, like, imagine that motherfucker be like, hey, who the king of New York? 6 9 6 9 6 9 What the fuck? Like, 6 9 is a rat. Like, how the fuck you a king of your city, but you a rat? Don't get him, it's gonna screw it. Like, that's why New York, New York niggas, they never really get on for real because they always want to be king. You don't never see nobody from Atlanta be like, King of Atlanta. You ain't never heard a nigga say King of Atlanta. You ain't never heard a nigga say King of Florida. You ain't never heard a nigga say King of Louisiana. You ain't never heard a nigga say King of Chicago. It's only New York. Only New York niggas want the king. You want Prince. That's why y'all niggas can never stay on top. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta stop that king shit. Y'all wanna be on top. You know what I'm saying? But he deserved King of New York. Like, he done did his time. Like, nigga done did too much time. He deserved, like, that title. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. 6 9 in the past three years has been the one to consistently start and put out this King in New York. I'm the King in New York messaging. Even when Bobby and Rowdy were out, they never said King in New York. But it's a brilliant idea. He's the quote unquote real one that had to serve Tom and is getting out. So all these other rappers will try to put him on because of it. Rowdy Rebel immediately after he gets out, they got him this. Ch Boy, that chain hard as hell. That motherfucker hard as hell. That nigga, it's like a zombie face. The like, ah. With the, with the, with the, with the, with his braids going down like that, that shit hard as hell, twin. Boy, it was. Pain that must haunt you at night if you shine a light. Yeah, that shit hard as hell. Niggas talking about this shit hard. Nigga, this shit hard. That shit like a, that shit like a zombie motherfucker. That shit hard as hell. Like, bro, like some chucky shit. Ah. Light on it. I don't know how people can sleep with that thing around them. For those that are slightly familiar or don't really know Rowdy, Rowdy to Bobby. Ah, that shit hard. That's like, is that like Venom? Because the nigga got to, I got to be like Venom. He like a zombie. It is basically Fabio 4 into Pop Smoke. I guess that's the easiest comparison I could make. Rowdy had his own massive song, Computers, that Bobby Shmurda was featured on before he was locked up. So he was building up his own. Ooh. Buzz and respect to Roddy, he wasted no time. Immediately going from prison, he went straight to the studio and started recording some music. He was in there freestyling from what it looks like, which is odd because I would expect him to have two books worth of written raps with how much time he spent locked up. Ain't nothing else to do but work on your craft. But he was in there with his homies, gassing him up, even oh, though yeah, that nigga came out with no. No paper, no no raps, no none of that. So you are no niggas just freestyle, straight freestyle. You know the freestyle, freestyle's gonna be crucial. You already know the motherfucker gonna be hard. It feel like nah, the niggas just need a good engineer. Like if you got a good engineer, a good at beat, you scrape my nigga, you certified hit platinum. Lean in the day, you know what I'm saying? So none of those songs sounded like they were any good. To be nigga. You gotta get your, he gonna get the shit mixed and mastered and all that good shit. The shit gonna be hard to hear. The nigga's not gonna put out good. Don't ask shit, stupid little boy. Fair, he's just warming up. Takes a little time, but seeing the dynamic of. The nigga just gotta record like 10 songs and like you gotta pick the best one. Put that motherfucker out. Like you could, nigga gotta knock out like 10 songs and like whichever, whichever one the fires one, Friday out, you know what I'm saying? And then out of that, mm, drop the EP. Not an EP. I don't, I don't like the name EP. But like, all right, just drop a tape. You know what I'm saying? Drop an eight, seven, eight, five. It don't matter. Just drop a little tape. You know what I'm saying? Just drop. Nick could record 10 songs in a day. I don't know. If you lock in in the studio in the whole day, you know what I'm saying? You probably can't record like 10 songs out the motherfucker out. Which, which one the best one? All right, best one, put that for the air. If Yes Men is so funny. Roddy was on Instagram Live and made a call to none other than Bobby Shmurda where something funny happened. This is bossy. I ain't gonna lie to you, Rip. 
Yo, the way this shit going on out here, Rip. Pandemic. It ain't a pandemic for us. It's a pandemic. Pandemic. It's a pandemic. Hell, you It's a saying. fucking pandemic. It's, it's a, a pandemic. pandemic. Yo, don't play with that boy. Yo. Oh. Come on, you're dusty, dusty. Dusty. you know I'm over dusty cause I'm over it, but how about niggas just hit my phone, yo, chill, yo, you just hold, don't try to violate, they think I'm a circle of ends already, like, I want no problem with your pussies, I'm on, I tell, I, I tell niggas I'm on music time, bro, they think I'm about to, they think I'm going to sprint it on slide, <laughs> Yeah. I ain't drinking nothing. You wild. We don't lie. We ain't drinking nothing. Um, you feel me? I'm... Yeah, we are live. Hold up, son. Don't no, say something for the live, Chewy. Don't say If you heard when Rowdy called him and Bobby said, What y'all drinking tonight? Rowdy panicked and told him he's on live. That nigga ain't even paying niggas say we on live. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. This nigga, yes, he didn't even be. I don't know. It's like nigga be hating. Like, I like hanging on niggas, but he be oh damn. Like, nigga ain't even. Nigga talking about nigga panic. Nigga ain't panic, bro. And it sounds like he muted it very quickly to tell him something, then put the sound back on. I'm pretty sure he was panicked since he's most likely on parole for a little while since he got released a year early and doesn't want to do anything to get in trouble with his parole officer, but is drinking a part of that? I don't know. The most interesting thing to me is how the rest of these rappers are going to react and how Rowdy's going to handle Fuck the rap niggas, man. Fuck the rap niggas, hell you saying? Having these record labels throw a deal at him. I want to see how Bobby reacts to that too once he's released because both of them got dropped once this Rico thing came to be by Epic Records. So Rowdy right now is an independent rapper. Will he stay independent and capitalize on all these rappers? Nigga better stay independent. That's your best option, my nigga. Yeah, stay independent. Don't fuck, fuck with these nigga who only fuck with you before you was in, before you was out in the streets, and now you now these nigga want to sign you, put you out, and I fuck no nigga. Get your own your shit, my nigga. Like, try hella music on your masters. Be on some bullshit, my nigga. I hope you done been learning. Don't sign no fucking deal. You sign a fucking deal, you dumb as hell, my nigga. Rappers don't want to do features with him. Migos definitely gonna be one of them since they was rocking with Shmoney. They had Shmigos oh, yeah, before they, they got locked up. Oh yeah, they did. I wonder if Rowdy knows how badly the Migos fell off though. Or is he just going to take... Man, that shit don't fucking matter. Hey, nigga, as long as you ride with the same niggas who was riding with you before, that's all that fucking matters, bro. That fat advance check and sign back to a label to have that comfort. One thing this reminded me of is that Meek Mill talk with academics hey, on hey, Clubhouse hey, hey, when he hey, said hey, that... Hey, we don't care. Anyway, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You did.